In this video, we're going to focus on, on understanding the save and restore feature in the canvas. And this is basically built for the first in, last out. So what that means is first in, last out would indicate the following. If you have a stack, the first one of a books, you have the first book would be a red book. The second book you put on the stack would be a green book. And then finally you have a blue book, you put it on top. So when you take then the first book from the stack, that would indicate that the first book will be a blue one. Then when you start to grab the second book would be the green one and then finally the red one here, which is the last one out. The first one that came in eventually went out as last. So this is very important because with the save and restore option that we have here, these functionalities, we can play around with that. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about because it's probably more makes more sense. First of all, we're going to create here a fill style and the fill style here will be in this case I'll just get here the red color and then next one you can say here ctx dot fill rack and I can see here I have some misspelled item here it should be fill so sorry about that make sure this is small letter L and then here we're going to say uh, pixels 100 by 100 for the x and y coordinates and then we're going to say this will be just a simple square so we said this 100 by 100 as well what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this two more times and then we say here instead of color red color green and then finally color blue and then of course here I need to move them so I'm going to say this one will be 100 will be 220 and then this one will be two, uh, three, let's say two, 330 if I save this we should see them all nicely next to each other or well this is 20 then we should maybe this and then we should do that then it will be nicely equally all right so now we have this, and what I want to do now is I want to duplicate this. I'm going to put it in here as well. I'm going to save that. Oh, of course, what we cannot do here is we need to move this down. So I'm going to make it all 200. Or make this uh, 220, 220, and 220 as well. So we have some space between there. All right, so yeah, I have this here. You can see here now, this all is exactly in the same order. However, if I remove these colors here, what will happen? I save this, refresh, you can see here now they're getting basically the color from the last item here that we assigned here. So what we want to do here is basically the following. We want to save, first of all we can save this. What we do here is we can see the that save to save this color to make sure that this is being saved. We're going to save them all. Put them all in there. So nothing really changes here. However, for example this I don't want any more this blue color. I can remove this. So what I can do here is just say CTX store. Then I save that. You can see you now this or at least this one grabs from the original state item. But then if I do this again, the second one will restore. And what is happening? And this one is just being drawn the blue one. But we restore now and it jumps back here. We have to restore it twice because it will assume here basically first if there will be anything. And this one will just maintain it. And then here, finally, if I'm going to restore again, I'm going to remove the final stack, and then we have it exactly in the opposite order. So you might say, okay, why is this like this? And why, if I would do like this, maybe the same? You see here, exactly the same. And you might question, this really has no difference because you can see here the items. That is correct. So what is really happening here is the first one for this does it impact or at least it will just maintain whatever it is so that's the only thing here but this option here if you're really using this I tend to use it for restoring every setting afterwards and the reason why I always want to go back to the original state I don't want them to grab any other color or any other item because if you forget this what can happen is the following in your canvas if you would have any other drawing afterwards and you forgot to assign any color it will grab the color that you have assigned somewhere else here. So that's why make sure you use the restore immediately to avoid any overlap of or what we can say bleeding from one color to another.